The mystery of the circle. The picture you see there is a circle in my classroom. And my students prepared this presentation. And this is what they said about the circle. It brings us together. It's the center of our home. It's the place where an amazing group of people come together to do great things. Now, this amazing group of people is a community. The first thing we learned is the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. It's not good that one gets it. All 48 have to get it. Now you're gonna to say to me, I don't have room for a circle. Lady, what are you talking about? Well, I'm asking you, do you want control or do you want to see learning flow? You decide. If it flows, then you're gonna find your children saying, the investigations that we do around that circle, and we do five of them three times a week, are the things that help us get stronger, okay? That's the children's names. Thomas, Lauren, and Ishan, and Kaylin. But they know they're good. Sometimes they get a little cocky about it. But every person in that classroom believes in themselves, believes in their peers, and believes in me, the facilitator. Now, they say I have access to everybody in the circle, and I do. Oftentimes, I'm walking around that circle. Sometimes I sit in the middle. It doesn't matter, because I see everything that's going on. They think I'm special, I really am. Now, they make connections. Right here, you see a picture of us on our Friday uh, Tiger Exchange, where we buy things and sell things. There's no need for an individual class on decimals. It's there. Now, around that circle, the students understand what they're doing, they know why they're doing it. It's not just me. They don't, they're not just the recipients of it. They know why this makes them a better math student. And they love it. They get involved in it. They don't mind helping one another. Once you finish, you know what your job is? Find somebody else and help them. Find someone else and share. There are many me's. We have awesome peer support. This is what we do every day before we get started. We do warm-ups. We prepare for the rigor of the day, and we get our minds ready. We call this necessary conditioning in math. We have to do that. The circle also produces amazing math journals. I've had one parent tell me, my son left the fourth grade and said, Mom, don't get rid of, don't get rid of my math journal. This is my resource. I'll keep this. It made me feel awesome. Now, I found that I shouldn't say problems. I'm going to say puzzles. We use puzzles to learn math. Don't worry about how you do it. Share it with us, but figure out how to solve problems. This is some of our experiential math we've done in our classroom. We planted a garden. It's not the actual garden, but it helped us factor numbers. We made muffins and became fraction masters. Now, I say let them talk around the circle. We got country of adults who can't even disagree. So in my classroom, discussion is absolutely necessary. And it's a joy to watch them disagree and respect one another. This is some of the uh, communication that goes around in the classroom. Don't think like a 60-year-old. They tell each other that. How would, a fourth grade, how would a fourth grader explain this? That's one way, but Ms. Drew, this is how I did it. In that classroom, around that circle, Math is spoken, math is lived. I listen to the conversations as they work together, and if you happen to be talking about what was on television last night, I say, what does that have to do with math? And my ears hear everything. Now the circle is always on the move. The pace is brisk, we go fast, but we make sure we don't leave anybody behind because we are a community, and we make sure everybody gets it. Questioning is what we do. I tell them, leave your ego at the door, pick your thinking cap up, and come on in. You reserve the right to be questioned, you reserve the right to question, and including me. If they come up with a good one, I'll even pay for it usually. <laughs> Have the courage to give up power in order to empower. In that circle, my students have choice. 
they show their creativity, and they grow. Now, I'm not telling you to have a circle. I'm just telling you to think out of the box. You can consider it or not, but every child deserves an awesome math experience. Thank you.